What is going on, guys? I've got another squad builder for you guys today, and it is Hyung Min Sun's Player of the Month card, 83 rated. Man, this card looks good. And I'm going to go through and tell you guys if it is worth uh, getting, because you're going to have to spend a little bit of money to get it. Okay, you're going to have to spend a lot of money to get it. When I did this squad build, it was the day it was released. Cards were going for a lot. Some of these card prices are maxed out pretty high. So you're going to need a little bit of coins unless you guys open a lot of packs like I do. And you might have a couple cards laying around. And that might help you build it. So, I'm also going to throw in a little bit of gameplay at the end to show you guys how this card plays. So I'm going to show you guys two different aspects of it. How much it's going to cost for you to put it together. And what the player plays like after you get them. To see if maybe this is even worth it for you. You guys might not even want to waste your time. I did do Barry and I did do Sterling. So you guys will see those two guys in the same squad with Hyung Min Sun at the end of the gameplay. So if you guys like these kind of squad builds and the little bit of gameplay, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the, sec in the, in the comment section. Without any other bullshit, let's do it. Okay, so this is the one that I found that was the easiest because... You just need to split it down the middle and find some strong connections in the middle of the field. I actually found Villarreal uh, players on my team. The whole the whole team I had Villarreal players. The only one I had to buy was this damn inform, which all of the informs have jumped up well over 20k, even, even to the 30k, especially the ones that are useful. Unfortunately, I could have actually used my um, one to watch goalkeeper. Uh, technically, I could have used Allison and worked things out differently, but I didn't because I feel like that would be a waste of my uh, one to watch card. So we bought him for 37,000 coins, and I think I bought Rukavina, who's actually going for 1,200 too, just because he, he connects with him. And a lot of people are probably using the same connection. So let's submit this. And I'm actually going to take the pack right now. I'm not going to wait just because. I want to see if I can get something in the pack that will help me build the other teams. I really need Korean players or uh, a BPL player, and that is a one rare pack. I expected this pack to be a little bit better. But... Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what? What is the coincidence that I get the same player that I just spent 37,000 coins on as my player? Really? Okay. Alright, this freaking squad build has already cost me like 80,000 points. And I'm two thirds of the way done. It's going to cost me pretty much 40,000 more coins. So, it's going to cost like 120,000. Where the hell is my dude? But here's my team. We're going to get rid of Lana Schneiderlin. My two. Tottenham players, one is Danny Rose, which, man, I'm kind of pissed because I love Danny Rose. We're going to get some packs out of this. I think these are good packs, too. I'm pretty sure. These are actually some pretty decent packs, too, because you had to get rid of some good players to get these packs. So that's nice. All players, three rare. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to spin on this one. I'm just going to... At least give me a couple of Tottenham players or fucking Koreans. No. Okay, one more. This one we're gonna spin. This one we're gonna spin. Ah. Oh! Oh! What? Get her out! I can't get to it! Oh! 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 That's not bad. Okay. And right now, informs are gone for a lot. That's a pretty nice pull. And I got McCarthy again. Um, yeah. That's not a bad pull. We get an inform. Okay. That's my first inform. Yeah. We've got the last of the squad building uh, requirements, which is an all Korean side. This one, uh, this one's gonna cost you. This one also is gonna cost you. The BPL one is gonna cost you because to get the players that are good, to get your rating up to an 82 is gonna cost you. Remember, you need Korean players that can get the team requirement to a 70. So if you have two goals, like these two guys here, these are pretty cheap. 
this Dong Donggook Lee, which luckily I had. But these guys are aren't that ex I mean they're expensive, like five, six thousand, but man, these silver ones are really expensive because people know that you have to have at least a 70 rating. You could have one bronze player, it has to be at like a 64 rated bronze, and you could have a few low rated silvers, but you really uh, really need to make sure you keep the ratings high. The defense, I had to buy about 10k a piece, I think. This guy was 9, the other guy was 9.5. So I think I got off a little bit on that. I had to spend 10, 6, 8. And I could have maybe waited around and bid, but I didn't. I just jumped right into it. So we're going to get another premium gold pack for doing this. Plus, we get our uh, Sun uh, untradeable card. Super awesome, that's right, player of the month, here it is, Mr. Sun, great looking card, great looking card, send him to the club, do, do, do. premium gold, ah, it has consumables, the other ones were better, that sucks, alright, click, and go, oh, oh, come on, give me another end four, let's get another end four, that would be freaking ideal. That's not ideal. That, that wasn't ideal. Okay, so, um, oh, we get a couple coins. We're gonna need them after we spend all that fucking money on this. This one was expensive, like I said. This, this one was expensive. They've all been pretty expensive. The Gareth Barry one was expensive. The Sterling was really expensive. I think the Sterling one cost me almost 200,000 coins. This one cost me a better part of maybe 120. Um, and that's because I had a couple in my team. Okay, guys, so here we go. We've got the 83 rated left midfielder, Hyungmin Sun. Great looking card. He actually has one physical stat less than his inform. There's the team we threw him into with Raheem Sterling, Remy, uh, BPL squad. This guy has some really good movement. Great speed, incredible agility. He's got 86 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. And it really shows because the guy can really get upfield. Um, he has a great speed burst. Um, also, his like agility. I know it's just an 80, but he actually has some pretty good agility. And of course, this one he sets up uh, Remy to get the first goal of this game. Uh, he also has good balance, you know, and that's you know a good thing to have for a left mid to have good dribbling, good balance. There's another one. This one came in from Raheem Sterling, and you know when Raheem Sterling just absolutely scorched this one in the back of the net. When he did this, I thought, "Wow, man, where the hell is Youngmin Sun? He's not shown up." And then I started to really see Youngmin Sun show that he's got a lot of versatile uh, options. Sure, he doesn't have four-star skills, but he has five-star weak foot, so he's always going to make a great pass. He's always going to be taking great shots. That was on his left foot, and he almost put that one in. Eventually, after we get up and down the pitch a few times, I, I really like the face-up dribbling, too. He's got some great face-up dribbling. This one here, after, like I said, a while, he starts to make a great play. Great pass, great pass, and then bang! Outside the box. Another great attribute is his long shots and shot power. 92 long shots, 88 shot power with 87 finishing. Look at that shot. Beautiful. Hyung Min Sun really started to show up in this game. He's also at 85 positioning, so if you push the ball through like I did there, look at that little poke chip life that's right he's gonna be in the right place at the right time because he has great positioning this card in my opinion is worth getting it is a great left midfield option in your BPL squad so guys as you see he gets a 9.2 two goals great card guys it's worth it you know it cost a lot of money to get but honestly I would say that this card is absolutely worth it it will be hard to build hybrids with him but definitely a good BPL signing so go out there Build this squad, get this young Min Sud card. So guys, thanks for the view, and as always, thanks for freaking watching.